we're going to take a look at the new relief analysis tool now. Just imported some clip art from the relief library of an embossing example of Mary. I'm going to turn on my relief analysis tool here by selecting this icon. And here we can see the difference within the gradients of the sharp edges through to the smooth edges. Now we do have control over this so we can work out our angle. So I'm going to select my 3D graphics option tab and under this relief gradient analysis tool here we can change these slider bars to work with particular angles. So I'm going to push my yellow to 90 degrees and I'm slide my red angle across to 80 degrees. We can just type in the value and I can slide my blue value across. I'm going to type in for this for 70. Now to show what you're doing we just select apply and we can see all the changes. So here I can see if I just zoom in you can see some very steep walls here. This is a near vertical wall. The same in different areas. Now by changing my slider bars to different angles and selecting apply gives me a larger area to work within for our wall angle. I'm just going to go back and put my settings back to 90 degrees, 80 degrees and 70 degrees. I'm just going to apply this and I'm going to go through and I'm going to change some of this by using the sculpting tool. So now I'm looking at my design. I'm just going to hide this area away for me. So I've got the full screen. And I'm just going to come into this area down the bottom. And I'm going to smooth this out by using the sculpting tool and smooth. I'm just going to smooth over the area that's required. If I want I can just drop down my strength and just paint away quite simply over it. I'm going to go around all of my areas and make slight changes to my design just to smooth out those wall sections. We have the same on the other side. We've got a much sharper wall on this side I think I'm going to need a much stronger brush for this. So I'm just going to increase my strength, leave my side the same and just smooth this out. So we get a much smoother angle to prevent any ripping or tearing or the mould not coming out if we were working with a vacuum form mould. We want a nice smooth area over our design. Zoom into the bottom where I missed this section here. We can go all the way around our design if we look at some of the other areas if there's anything missing. Just a little bit here. We'll just zoom in slightly. See if any of the areas around her face require doing. Here we have a section here. So I'll just smooth that out. Check around the edges again zoom in and they look fine. It's this one section up here. Okay, so we smoothed out all those edges which were showing us that they were very very rough and that they were at a very sharp angle. Now hopefully you can see from using the relief analysis tool how we can get a nice smooth model with no sharp or flat edges within our design suitable for embossing or for vacuum forming or anything that requires a mould being made of the design.